Hello everyone, this is Monitor Prime and here I have the 2014 Transformers Collectors Club Incentives figure Protoform X, also known as Rampage. And this figure didn't come in a fancy box or anything like that, it actually came in a plastic bag inside of a small brown box. Now it did bring this, which is the technical data, and as you can see it says Strength 10 Plus, Intelligence 8, Speed 9, Endurance 10, Rank 9, Courage 10, Fire Blast 10 Plus, Skill 9. And it has a very nice art graphic design of the figure Rampage transforming to his robot mode. Now we have the bias right here. And I really hope that you can pause it so you can read it when you have time. Now I'm going to move this out of the way and let's get going with this review. Protoform X or Rampage is a character from the Transformers Beast Wars series. He was a Maximal that eventually became a Predacon. Protoform X was a failed Maximal attempt to recreate an immortal spark. This creation was unstable and became a serial killer and cannibal with an immortal spark. He was renamed Rampage by Megatron after he joined the Predacons. Now I'm going to bring this figure closer to the camera and I'm going to tell you something right now. The paint job applied on this figure is just fantastic. I definitely like all of the colors. It is a very nice representation of the original colors of the character Rampage from the Transformers Beast Wars series. Now you probably already know that this is a retool and repaint of the Transformers Prime figure Megatron. Now in this figure right here they didn't uh, do a good job trying to hide the face or the head sculpt of Rampage because as you can see once he, once he is transformed into his vehicle mode we can see half of the face of this figure which looks kind of mean I'm gonna tell you that but other than that this vehicle mode looks just awesome. Now some of the details as you can see has been changed right here especially on this uh, uh, chest section of the robot mode it looks kind of different now this is what it looks like from the front side or top side view and this is the, uh, the view from inside or under the vehicle mode now I just want to point out something real quick and that is that in the instructions that we get for this figure right here it shows us Rampage transforming to this vehicle mode and as you can see it does have this section open up just like that but then as you keep following the instructions and you end up and the image that they show us is this which is a total different uh, look than this one right here and so I'm kind of confused because it, it is giving us two options I think now I'm gonna show you the second option real quick and the way that it's showing the instructions and I'm just gonna do this like as a side note it actually shows this figure transform this way so we or at least I don't know if this is the real figure or the real transformation mode for this figure or if it's supposed to look just like the other uh, figure Megatron because again this is a repaint and retool of that mode now if you want you can display your figure this way I guess that will be totally up to you but like I said that was just a side note and now we're gonna put this figure the way it was and now that I have pointed that out real quick and that was just a side note I'm gonna show you the weapon that comes with Rampage and this is a fusion cannon which is very nice it is mostly painted black as you can see but it also have a nice silver paint job applied right here on the on the rim now the barrel itself of this cannon has a clear purple plastic which looks really nice now this section right here is the handle so once this figure is transformed into his uh, robot mode he can actually peg it in one of his arms or either either of his arms now this uh, particular weapon doesn't have any missile launchers but it does looks really cool and there's a peg right here which allows you to tap it right on top of Rampage vehicle mode which again is just awesome I definitely like this new uh, new paint job applied to this figure now I'm gonna get this figure here and I'm gonna bring some other Transformers figures for a quick size comparison and here we're gonna compare Rampage next to another Transformers Collectors Club exclusive figure and this one is Run Amok. now this is what they both look like front to front and these two figures are really cool if you can add these two to your collection, it would definitely be a great addition. Now, let's get Runamok out of the way. Because I want to compare Rampage next to one of the Botcom exclusive figures, and this one is Sunstorm. Now, this is what they look like front to front. The size difference is not that big, actually, once these two are transformed into their respective vehicle mode. Now, I'm gonna get Sunstorm out of the way. Because here I have Shattered Glass Drift. Again, this is another exclusive figure now this is what they both look like front to front and let's rotate these two figures around real quick as you can see the backside view or the design of this figure right here uh, Rampage looks just awesome 
Now with this new paint job it definitely looks better. Now let's get Shadow Glass Drift out of the way. And now I'm gonna compare Rampage next to Reveal the Shield Radimus Prime, which is a deluxe class figure. Now this is what they both look like front to front. Again, the size difference is not that big. This is the backside view of these two figures. Now let's get Radimus Prime out of the way. And just in case you want to see Rampage next to Generations Armada Starscream, here you have it. This is what they both look like front to front. Now this particular figure right here, Armada Starscream from the Generations line, is a small figure. Now let's get it out of the way. And now let's transform this figure into his robot mode, which is very simple, especially if you own the figure Transformers Prime uh, Megatron or Sharticon Megatron. Now I'm gonna set the weapon aside real quick and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna untap these panels right here, same over here, and we're gonna work on the leg section of this figure. Now I'm gonna fold this in and I'm gonna rotate this around and we're gonna peg this right in here, just like so. And we're going to do the same thing over here, we're going to rotate this around and we're going to peg it right in here. Now I'm going to tap this section right here, which is the arms of the figure. And now I'm going to fold this all the way towards the front, all the way up, just like so. Now I'm going to fold this down this way and I'm going to move this section right on top. Now I'm going to fix the legs real quick. Now I'm going to move this towards the back and like I said, the transformation uh, for this figure is... Uh, it's kind of simple, especially if you own the uh, previous mold uh, Megatron or Sharticon Megatron. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on this section right here. And these are the arms. I'm going to untap them together. And we're going to rotate them around just like so. And we're going to leave them this way for now. We'll do the same thing over here. Now this section right here we're going to fold it up. And we're going to slide this down just like so. Now. This section right here, which is the chest panels of this figure, we're going to move it all the way up. Let me show you that real quick. And now we're going to fold this all the way back. Now this is transformation for this figure. As you've seen, the transformation was very simple. It didn't take uh, a lot of time. And it was a lot of fun. Now I'm going to fix the arm or uh, the fist of this figure real quick. So this is what Rampage looks once he's transformed into his robot mode. Now I'm going to set this figure aside here real quick. And here we have Rampage transformed into his robot mode. As you've seen, the transformation was easy and it didn't take me a lot of time. Now, I definitely like all of the paint job applied in this figure. It looks just awesome. And it's definitely a nice representation of the Transformers Beast World character, Rampage. Now, I like the red, orange, purple and kind of yellowish applied to this figure. Now, this is what it looks like from the backside view. So, the color alone is just awesome, I gotta tell you that. Now, if we bring this figure closer to the camera, we can see the head sculpt of this figure, which looks really nice. It is a, a brand new head sculpt. And now the only thing that I have to say is that this head sculpt looks a little bit smaller compared to the rest of the body. And I know that it looks a little bit smaller than the ones that we saw in the pictures once this figure was announced. But honestly, that doesn't really bother me a lot. I'm probably sure some people or some collectors are gonna be bugged about that. But if you take that aside, this figure is just awesome. Now, hopefully you can see all the designs of this figure, especially on the head sculpt. Now the eyes are being painted green, and he, you can see some energy on left over in his mouth, and this figure just looks mean. Now the abdominal section features a nice paint job application, like silver, yellow, and purple. Now I'm gonna rotate this figure around one more time. Now the weapon of this figure, as I mentioned before, is painted black, it also has a silver application right here and you can see the purple plastic that is right on the barrel now this weapon can be mounted on each arm as you can see it can be mounted right on this arm as you can see it has a big tap right here but also can be mounted right over here in his, uh, his hand he can hold the weapon without any issues so this is a really cool figure you know I definitely like it a lot now I'm gonna show you the articulation for Rampage now let's start with the head sculpt. The head sculpt seems to be on a ball joint and it can be moved 360 degrees. It can be partially moved up and down just slightly. Articulation on the arms is good. It is on the ball joint. You, you see 360 degrees. Now there's a swivel right here on the arm. So you can rotate it around 360 degrees again. Elbows have a articulation right here and also right over here. So it's got like, it seems like a double elbow articulation which is really nice. Now the hands can be rotated just a little bit 
and they are not articulated but they do have a nice sculpt right on them now this figure doesn't have any waist articulation the legs are also on a ball joint they're very uh, articulated you know you can move them up and down to the sides front and back now the knee can be uh, can be moved around 90 degrees just like so and you also have a swivel right here can be rotated 360 degrees the articulation for the feet is a little bit limited you can probably move this up and down just slightly but I wouldn't really count much on that so as you see the articulation for this figure is really good you can expect this uh, figure rampage to be very possible now I'm gonna show you just a few poses that you can do with this figure so it is really nice now I'm gonna bring some more Transformers figures for a quick size comparison and here for our first size comparison we have Rampage next to the Transformers Collectors Club exclusive figure Transmutate which I got in the mail yesterday now this is what they both look like front to front so you can see the size difference is not that big now if you remember the Beast Wars series these two uh, characters actually have some kind of history now it is Rampage who actually finds Transmutate and wanted her to join the Predacons but Megatron didn't like the idea and wanted her to get rid of Transmutate and for this size comparison I have the figure Death Charge which is also another Transformers Collectors Club exclusive figure now the character Death Charge is also from the Transformers Beast Wars series and he is pretty much the mortal enemy of Rampage and I don't know if you remember this or not but they uh, eventually kill each other in the bottom of the ocean now as you can see the size difference is not that big now these two particular figures are very colorful and I really like both of them now let's get Death Charge out of the way because I want to compare Rampage next to Ultra Mammoth which is also another exclusive figure from the Transformers Collectors Club now this is what they both look like front to front as you can see the size difference is just very big now this is the backside view of these two figures now let's rotate these two around one more time and let's move Ultra Mammoth out of the way and this is a size comparison that I wanted to do for a very long time we have Rampage next to Sharticon Megatron as you can see these two uh, have a very similar vehicle mode and transformation the only difference is that Sharticon Megatron is a Voyager class figure now let's rotate these two figures around one more time and you can see the design on the backside view is pretty similar but the size difference is big now once uh, Sharticon Megatron is transformed into his vehicle mode you can actually hide the head sculpt of this figure unlike uh, Rampage now let's get Sharticon Megatron out of the way and let's make room for Overrun which is another Transformers Collectors Club exclusive figure now this is what they both look like front to front size difference is kind of big and as you can see from the backside view of Overrun this is the way I display my figure now let's rotate these two figures around one more time and let's get Overrun out of the way and now that we have seen Proform X or Rampage transform into his vehicle mode, robot mode, articulation and accessories I have to say that this is a really cool figure I definitely like the new head sculpt that was applied to it the paint job is really good and the transformation was very simple so if you like this figure you should definitely add it to your collection and with this I conclude this Transformers video review of the Collector's Club exclusive figure Proform X also known as Rampage this is my actor Prime until next time if you like this Transformers video review, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Magnetar Prime, or stop by my Facebook page, Magnetar Prime Reviews. This is Magnetar Prime, until next time.